The three common phases of matter are solid, liquid, and gas. And we can plot where they occur on a pressure temperature plot. And when we do, we call that a phase diagram. On a phase diagram, at low pressures, you'd expect the gas phase to exist. At high pressures, you'd expect the liquid and the solid phase to exist. At higher relative temperatures, the liquid phase. And at lower relative temperatures, the solid phase. Now there's also the equilibrium regions where solid and gas are in equilibrium or liquid and gas are in equilibrium. Those are plotted as lines on the, the phase diagram. Every point on this line, the solid and the gas are in equilibrium. This is a plot for carbon dioxide and here's the liquid gas equilibrium line. That corresponds to boiling or condensation. And you can also plot the solid liquid melting or freezing equilibrium line. Every point on this line, the solid and the liquid are in equilibrium. Now for carbon dioxide, it turns out the common equilibrium that we observe is the solid gas or sublimation equilibrium. And I can demonstrate that with a small piece of carbon dioxide. I'll take out a piece of carbon dioxide and if I bring it here to the desktop, that's solid carbon dioxide. And that vibrating that you hear is the gas subliming off the carbon dioxide. That gas phase provides a cushion of gas. And you can see the carbon dioxide floats about on that cushion of gas, almost independent of friction on the table. That's the sublimation of carbon dioxide. Now, let's talk about some other regions on the phase diagram. Interestingly, there's a point where all three of the solid, liquid, and gas phases intersect. Here's this called the triple point. The triple point is where the solid, liquid, and gas phase exist in equilibrium. For carbon dioxide, that's five atmospheres and minus 56 Celsius. So if you go to those conditions, you'll find solid, liquid, and gas, carbon dioxide, all in equilibrium with each other. A particle can move from the solid phase to the liquid phase, liquid to solid, or solid to gas independently. All three are equally likely at the triple point. We also have the critical point. That's the temperature above which the gas behaves ideally, or there's a single phase. And that point for carbon dioxide is 305 Kelvin. Let's talk about the water phase diagram. Here's water, again, solid, liquid, and gas phases. And you'll have a sublimation line, a triple point, a condensation line with a critical temperature, and a solid liquid melting freezing line. Now, water is one of the only substances where the slope of the solid liquid slopes backwards. Now, that's interesting. That says if you compress solid water, you go up in pressure. So here's a solid water point. I go up in pressure, it should turn into the liquid. And that's counterintuitive. Most things, when you increase the pressure, you should continue to favor the solid, the more tightly compact phase of matter. It turns out for water, the solid is not the most tightly compact phase. The solid is actually slightly less dense than the liquid. And we know that. We've seen solid ice float on top of liquid ice. In fact, it's the most common solid liquid phase transition we know about. So when we think about it, you'd think, oh, maybe all solids float on their liquids. It's actually the reverse. Just because that's a common substance, water, and we see the solid floating on the liquid, we get the impression that that's common. It's actually the least common interaction. Most solids sink in their own liquid. They're more dense. Now, let's look at the triple point for water, point, uh, 4.6 torr and 0.01 Celsius. So very near 0 Celsius, but a fraction of an atmosphere. There are 760 torr in one atmosphere. So a tiny fraction of an atmosphere is the triple point. We can look at the critical pressures and temperatures for both. Critical temperature for water, 650 Kelvin, and we can define a critical pressure, 220 atmosphere. So the phase diagrams describe solid, liquid, and gas phase interactions on a pressure temperature plot and allow us to predict 
phase transitions and the phase that exists under various conditions.